Today, I'm headed over to Pearson's. We are shooting the first short film that we will be putting on his channel since we started vlogging. Yeah! I'm gonna show you all the BTS here, break down all the gear that we're using, and then also ask Pearson what went into the creative process when he writes these little shorts. So, let's get into the video. Okay, so I just got over to the house, and I'm gonna start setting up the camera package. The camera that we're using is the Blackmagic Mini Ursa, and then we're gonna use Rokinon cinema lenses. Right now, I have the 24 mil on this guy, and then I'm probably gonna use this 85 right here, but we also have the 50 and the 35 for the full package. I actually used the 85 the entire shoot, except for the intro. I shot that on the 35. And then we're gonna run audio with, I believe this is the NTG4, straight into the Zoom H6. And I'm gonna run the camera on a shoulder mount, and then also on a tripod. And then for the Lighting, we're gonna use the Aperture 120D with a softbox and the Godox 1000 panel as a fill. And then this is our set. We'll also have practical lights going. We're gonna have these tiki torches lit up with flames. It'll fill up the scene a little bit. We actually ran out of gas for the tiki torches. So we decided to use a strand of light bulbs that we had in the backyard. And we also used my Nan light tube for an additional light to try and fill up the background. And this is our key light right here. It's all the light of my soul. Can you believe it? The guy that can do everything. What you want. What you want. What you need, I got you. All right, I need one thing. Mm -hmm. 10 second freestyle off the top of your dome. Freestyle, freestyle, keep the peeps wild. Want to make the peeps smile because we here in Hollywood and it's all good because we got that key light. Going to make you shine, going to make you feel all right. I said it's good. One, two, three, lights, camera, action, and then there go me. I bars. <laughs> the scene that we're shooting tonight is essentially the what do you want scene from the notebook. When Pearson gets down here, I'm going to ask him what went into the creative process when writing this little spinoff that we're doing tonight. This happens every time. Every time. Okay, you know what? I know. Spaghetti and meatballs. That's we're, we're gonna get the spaghetti and meatballs. It's only been three months in quarantine. We're getting the spaghetti and meatballs. Is that is that better? No, I don't feel special. <laughs> <laughs> we have her say it. Oh my god! Say in this what? scene. Mm hmm. Be like, ah, uh, spaghetti and meatballs. Be like, mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Mm hmm. You ready to make? Am I being called? Not yet. Not yet. Ah. Uh, but are you ready to make your acting debut on Pearson Foday's channel? Yes. I'm gonna crush it, as I always do. You're always we are now it. one hour past my call time. Hurry up and wait, this is like a real Hollywood production. Shout out Pearson, he knows how to, you know, really keep it intact with Hollywood. What are your thoughts on this? No, I don't know. You know, it's really not that simple. <laughs> Pearson. Yep. What inspired you to make this? Honestly, I have been desperately thinking of ways that I can mix my two worlds, the acting world and the social media world. And I kept like looking up things on TikTok and other social media trends. I was like, artists remix like songs and sounds and different things like that. Yep. Why can't actors remix scenes? So the idea was we take a scene and we remix the scene into a different setting and try to adjust and see how it plays out. You take a scene from The Notebook. Which what do we you just want? watched. We just watched The Notebook yep. and this is where it was inspired from. So what do you want? But also, this is such a common like trait with how many dates that I've been on. I'll be like, so what do you want? Nobody can decide what they want, ever. And you've been to the restaurant 342 times, but nobody can decide. And it usually starts prior. Absolutely. Choos choosing the restaurant. Yeah, oh my God. And you're like, so what restaurant do you want to go? I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, call me. Notice me, senpai, notice me. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> the dark lord. <laughs> it's come from the seventh layer of hell. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what happens. And that's a cut. That's a cut. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to do shot one. Saxon, give us an update. How are you feeling? Pearson just killed that scene. It was beautiful. I'm so impressed. It was great. It was great. He had some tears of but see, there's guys, we have to hold back. We don't let the tear drop unless like, dad just died in the scene. Because mm. then it makes her tears more powerful. You can't trust actors. Let's go get it. And that is a wrap on me. Woo! Thank you, thank you. Tyler, we're gonna have to go back and edit this right now. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Spence, what's your thoughts on the shoot? I thought the shoot went really well. Uh, the remix turned out pretty hilarious, a lot different than the actual notebook. But hey man, good to be out here. Dude, don't fart on my sets. So, that was all the BTS I could share with you guys. If you guys want to see more from the shoot, there will be a bunch in Pearson's next video, so make sure you guys check that out. Do it! This first short with Pearson was definitely a fun one, and overall it was a great learning experience. I haven't shot a short scene like this in a long time. I mainly shoot brand content, which is completely different when it comes to shaping a narrative. I definitely went the safe route with shooting mainly on a tripod, 
and not having much movement in the shots, which to be honest, it could be because I was using a camera I wasn't super familiar with. And I kind of wish I didn't shoot it that way. I don't normally like just stationary shots unless they're very Wes Anderson style. Actually, comment down below who your favorite filmmaker is. Do it! Another issue I ran into is I had trouble matching some of the audio from wide shots to the close-up, which again is another learning experience that I'm gonna grow from. And hopefully next time I don't struggle as much as I did this time. Overall, I'm psyched with how the first short with Pearson came out. And I'm excited to continue to learn and grow throughout the journey of making more of these. And eventually one day, we're gonna be dropping a full feature for you guys. Yeah! And with that, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions about it, please comment them down below. I will definitely get back to you. I try to respond to all my comments. Also, let's get this video over 250 likes in celebration for the short we just put out. Yeah! And until next time, guys, peace.